Hello class, it's me, a funny castaway reference. Today, we'll be talking about William Bradford and Massasoit, or more accurately, the Plymouth Colony and the Wampanoag tribe. It all started in... There was this boat called the Mayflower that kinda sorta landed in North America during winter. Needless to say, the colony did not have a very fun time. A little less than half of the hundred colonists died of starvation hypothermia, or disease. Once winter passed, the colonists were not able to grow anything. The soil was absolute garbage. However, in March 1621, the chief of the Wampanoag tribe, named Massasoit, went to the colonists and he said, Hey morons, you know if you put fish in the soil you can actually grow things? And that was the beginning of a 50 year long military alliance. The first governor of Plymouth, John Carver, signed the treaty. It was initially a military alliance, however it gave way to trade, aid, and more fun things. Except he died randomly, so uh, Plymouth elected William Bradford as their next governor. William Bradford, who was a leader of the Puritan congregation, maintained the alliance between the Wampanoag and the colony. William Bradford would continue to serve as the governor of Plymouth on and off for quite a while, though dying in 1657 after serving five terms as governor. Massasoit, on the other hand, would live longer, he was responsible for the first Thanksgiving, and he maintained the peace between the colonists throughout his lifetime. You don't want to mess with them. He orchestrated a massacre against another native tribe, but we don't talk about that. It didn't happen. Sadly, all good things must come to an end, as Massasoit died in 1661. Medicon became the next chief of the Wampanoag, and he was a very naughty boy. Goodbye.